All right, welcome. So today we have Ares. He's been requested quite a bit, so let's get right into it. So a few things I wanted to say about Ares right now, as of this recording, season three, Ares is in, he's in a really weird spot because with the new relic system, everybody can get purification uh, right at level one. So traditionally, that's what that's what's going to happen whenever you pick Ares and go to a fight. The entire enemy team is going to have a purification right away, unless if they have an ultimate, which they can be CC immune. Um, so that being said, the first couple pulls, you're probably not going to pull anybody. But with the uh, new relic system, purification has a lot longer cooldown reduction compared to season two. 160 seconds, it's a very long time, but the drawback is everybody has it, as well as Aegis, now is known as Sanctuary. Uh, this, you can still pull people, if even if they pop this, it's just, they're just not going to take any damage, but you can still pull them, so that's pretty good. Um, another bad thing for Ares is Blink now has a longer cooldown. Used to get greater Blink in Season 2, where it had 45 second cooldown, now it's 120 seconds. So there's a lot of bad things happening for Ares, as well as the aura items, Sovereignty, and um, Howard Amulet that you typically get in Season 2. Now they're not really the best items, uh, protection items to get uh, compared to items like Hide the Urchin, um, the Mantle, all the cloaks, um, and things like that, Bark Hope. It's really hard for Ares right now, just in general. Uh, but yeah, so let's get into actually building Ares. Uh, starting with Conquest, for Conquest, for support right now, there are a few different uh, routes you can go for starting off, but in the end, there's still a good amount of items that you typically get anyway. Uh, so let's go with Starter Item, definitely Watcher's Gift. If you're wondering why the 100 health is great, the MP5 is great for sustain. Uh, but the passive lets you sustain both health and mana. If you just chill in next to your hunter in the duo lane, they get the killing blows and you get bonus gold, which is very important because supports are typically far behind in gold. And you get some health back, so that's really great. Now from here, uh, one of the stars is going to the uh, 300 gold shoes, just for movement speed, and then going straight to the Winged Blade. And the reason and the reason being for Winged Blade is because it's really, really cheap, and you get a lot of good stats. Like 300 health is a lot uh, for that price, and crowd control reduction, whatever, attack speed, whatever, but the movement speed, uh, that 10% movement speed pretty much acts as your boots, that compared to your tier 1 boots. And then the passive, if the enemy has slows, if they try to slow you, you get some movement speed increase temporarily and you're good to go. Um, so you go to Wing Blade, then from here typically you go into the Breastplate of Valor, uh, so that we can obviously have some type of protections. And um, Ares, he needs quite a bit of cooldown reduction, uh, so that way you can just keep those beads or purification off cooldowns on your targets and get as much pulls as you can as possible. Uh, so Breastplate of Valor. Then you can go into the Borg of Hope, because obviously we do need some magical protection. Now, this is kind of personal preference, I would guess. Um, normally I talk about abilities, I actually forgot about that. But the only thing I, that's worth mentioning is his passive. Aura items grant Ares an additional 30 magical power, which is nice. It's a nice bonus. It's not needed to tank, ideally, and be a support. But it's nice for additional damage, which, as many of us know, Ares does a lot of damage. So, what's good about Bork of Hope is the passive. The health shield is great, it can save you a lot, uh, but the 60 magic protection and 200 health, you can also get that with the Hallward Amulet and then get the additional 30 magic power. So, it's up to you. Do you want to be more for support and not have that shield and get that 30 additional power? Then you can go to Hallward Amulet instead of Bork. Uh, if you want to be more selfish and probably survive longer with the passive on Borg for Hope, then you can go into that. Uh, so those are the two different options uh, for Ares for magical protection, I feel. Uh, and then from here, you can go into various items like Spirit Robe. Uh, the reason being for this is a good burst of both protections for both physical and magical. And as well as the cooldown reduction. So you get another 10% from here, and the passive is really strong for team fights. It helps you mitigate a lot more damage. After you get to Spirit Robe, then you go back and finish your boots for She's a Focus. If you run something like this, uh, you have 60 magical power, as you see on the bottom left here. And of course, I still have the starter item, so we only have five real items. Uh, but what's cool about this is that we cap the cooldown reduction, which is 40%, so 10% from the shoes, uh, 20 from breastplate, and another 10 from spear rope. Uh, you can do something like this, and then um, the watcher's gift, you can sell this whenever you don't feel like you need it, and then you can buy whatever you need. Um, the big thing about building supports 
is that they're very situational because not every match are you fighting an even amount of both physical and magical they could have like a magical jungler and then you probably have to build uh, your magical protection item before breastplate of valor it's just things very just vary from match to match so you just have to have just kind of keep that in mind you sh probably shouldn't go cookie cutter for each um, match but that's one of the starts and the other start that you can go into which i i'd probably personally do more often uh, for conquest is of course you go back to your short items go to watcher's gift uh, And then go into the traveler shoes if you don't mind losing a little bit of cooldown reduction uh, go to the traveler shoes What the traveler shoes allow you to do in conquest is gain an additional 14% movement speed while out of combat So when you're making rotations to check up on mid lane or gold fury or whatever that you can do that faster and the 20 health per five seconds that's what hp5 stands for that allows you to sustain a lot more health uh while you're traveling about out of combat obviously and of course the additional gold whenever you hit a target that's nice um but yeah so faster rotations more health uh region while you're out of combat that's pretty good and then with that you can go straight into the height of the urchin um, of course, it's not an aura item, but this item does allow you to build up an insane amount of protections, uh, which is great. It stacks all the way up to 10, which will give you a total of 65 both physical and magic protection, which that is huge, and also health and mana. So it's a really strong item. And then again, you go into your basics of uh, Breastplate of Valor. Uh, the same situation if you want Bark of Hope or uh, Hallward, that's up to you. Let's just go with Hallward for now. And then you can go into your last item, which could be whatever you want. Um, it can be something as like a mid guardian male. Uh, mid guardian male is still pretty good, offers a lot of health. The protection is not too great, but the passive is perfect against uh, enemy hunters. Because around this part of the match, uh, where you're building into your last couple items, hunters are going to be quite troublesome for you, especially if they build crit or, I mean, hunters just hit hard anyway, just left clicking. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, it's pretty good. Maybe you might, might be wondering about sovereignty. Uh, the thing with sovereignty is that there's pretty good other physical protection items out there to get instead of this, like Breastplate of Valor. I personally value this over sovereignty. Um, and then again, Mate Guardian Mail. Um, I kind of value that more than sovereignty, but if you want, you can go to sovereignty. You can buy it as like your last couple items. And the only purpose for that is to be, again, more of a support, giving your team more protections for team fights. And if you really want that additional 30 um, uh, magical power, I don't know why I couldn't think there. But yeah, so you can go to something like this. And then, of course, you can sell Watcher's Gift. The thing about uh, supports and conquest, and probably most other game modes, is that. Uh, you're traditionally behind XP, which is levels and gold, so you don't really get too far in your build. Now, maybe you're wondering what about just going into um, the cooldown boots straight into the Bracepot of Valor. The problem with that, and the reason why I never do this personally, which some people might do, uh, the problem with going into this start is that you lack an incredible amount of HP. And if you die, either like once or twice as Ares, and especially if you're running this start, uh, you're going to be falling so far behind. Um, I, I don't really like the breastplate uh, right after boots, there's just no HP, yeah you have a lot of physical protection, but that's only physical, you don't have magical, and you lack so much HP. His HP based scaling is not the greatest either. Uh, so that's that, uh, quickly for Arena. Things don't really change too much, except you never get Traveler Boots for Arena and other casual game modes. You'll probably just go into Shoots of Focus. Um, again, no need for Travelers. Uh, Reinforce is great if you're going against like a heavy CC team. And that's where the CCR comes in handy with the Reinforce Shoes. But yeah, Shoots of Focus. I personally am um, a big fan of High the Urchin, so I'll probably go High the Urchin first. And then the same few items as last time. You can go into Breastplate. Or you can go to Magical Protection first before Breastplate, that's up to you. Uh, yeah, Breastplate, Borg of Hope, and or uh, Howard of Amulet. Uh, let's just go with Borg of Hope for now. And then you can go on from here to whichever one you need. If you need more Magical Protection, you can go to Howard. Uh, that's probably better. I would say that's better than getting Voidstone. Um, I mean, you could stack two Protection items for Magical if, like, they have mostly Mages, like for Arena or something crazy like that. Uh, but yeah, Spirit Robe. 
cap cooldown reduction and then probably just go into another physical item or you can go into the mantle of discord uh this is a really strong item obviously because 60 for both protections only problem is it's really expensive and it's kind of hard to get that much gold for support it could take you a while to build this but once you do build it it's really great um obviously uh be careful with the cooldown reduction you probably don't want to buy this if you already have spirit robe breastplate and cooldown boots if you want to make use of that cooldown reduction stat that's just another thing to point out uh, if you go to aura items, you can find some decent aura items here. Uh, Pestilence, really great item if you're fighting against um, healers or um, guys that have high health regeneration. Uh, perfect, because you have really high magical protection and additional uh, 30 magical power from your passive. Things like that. Uh, no real need to get Witchblade, I feel. Um, Mystical Mail, I don't really feel like there's a need for it, for it's super pricey. Uh, not really viable right now. Vard of Asclepius, you're not healing, so there's no real need for that. Uh, Pythags, you're not a lifesteal guy, you're not Anubis, so no need for that. Uh, but the only viable ones, I would say, is Pestilence, which is situational. Uh, Voidstone, which you can use this to stack with um, Howard Amulet for heavy mage team comps and Sombra team. It's not that great right now, honestly. It's not in a great position. Uh, but yeah, that is just my personal opinion on building Ares. You may have a different build for Ares. Uh, but hopefully this is helpful and getting a general idea for what to build for Ares. Um, it, again, it's all situational uh, building for Ares. And yeah, um, that's pretty much it. Again, hopefully it's helpful and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.